All right, guys, welcome back. So I hooked the speaker back up. We got it back up to the Rockford T1 S1 12. And we're gonna run it same way, Stetsom. We're gonna run the Power Acoustic Razor. Now we're gonna run it at one ohms. It's not rated at one ohm. So we're gonna see what it does. It hasn't shut off on me yet. So we're gonna see what it does. All right, guys, hopefully with box rise, it'll stay above one ohm, maybe two ohms. We'll see what it does. Let's get it going. You can see the power is staying constant. 14.5, 14.3. So the amp's not even getting hot. decibels this is making in the seal box all right guys I'm gonna switch up the speakers we'll be right back hey guys welcome back so I hooked the speaker back up now we got it on the Rockford TO D2 10 inch this is wired at 4 ohms now so we're gonna see what this does at 4 ohms so let's get the Stetson back on, get the SMD back on. Real time power. Give it some more power and see what it does. Now you see how the ohms are going real high. That means that it's not allowing the amplifier to perform. If the ohms are not right, it's not gonna work. Let's see what the dyno power says. All right, let's try 40 hertz one time here. See if that changes anything. Let's see if that changes anything. And do 40 hertz. 40 hertz, guys. Oh. reading 10 ohms 10.8 ohms at 151 watts that just goes to show you how box rise works and how amplifiers aren't giving you the power that you think they're getting so we ran this at 1 ohm we ran that at 2 ohms and we ran this at 4 ohms one second guys so guys, if you haven't already, make sure you throw me that thumbs up, guys. 
Make sure you go down in the corner, subscribe to the channel. You won't miss any future videos. We got a lot of stuff coming your way, guys, so stay tuned, all right? Peace! Hey, YouTube, what's going on, guys? Welcome back, subs and paws. How we doing today, guys? Uh, so today, we're gonna run a dyno test on the SMD. We're gonna run a few different tests. I'm gonna do one test that's gonna be at two ohms on a Rockford Fosgate TOD210. I got it. Okay? So this is gonna be, no, this is at four ohms, I'm sorry. It's four ohms. I have the SCAR Audio SDR10, that's wired at two ohms. And I have the uh, Rockford Fosgate T1S1, that's a single one ohm. 12 inch subwoofer we're gonna run for one ohm so we're gonna run one ohm four uh, two ohms and four ohms we're gonna see the difference in the power that it makes I'm gonna try to put it as loud as I can get it until I feel comfortable where the subwoofer is and we're gonna go from there so we're, our power supply today we're using an infinite 60 amp power supply uh, Stetsom we're gonna use the power acoustic razor uh, RZR1 2500D and we're gonna use the oh wait hold on oh the SMD AMM1. All right, so just I want to get these for you guys. I did this earlier to check, so you guys would have an idea of what kind of terminals you can fit. So this is what I did here. I used this is a wire reducer, zero gauge to four gauge and four gauge to eight gauge wire. And I also have, oh, there's no strands missing out of this. It's very tightly wired in. I squeeze it very good. Eight gauge bare wire. So the eight gauge bare wire went in the positive and negative uh, power terminals on the razor. And it also went into the speaker wire terminals. They're almost about the same size. And the same thing with the wire reducer. The 8 gauge wire reducer went inside the, the power uh, plus and minus and the speaker plus and minus. There, the 4 gauge wouldn't even come close to going anywhere near it. So you're not going to be using 4 gauge wires on that amp. Alright, so let's get the test going. Let's power up the amplifier with the Stetsom. And we're going to start with the SCAR. We're going to start at two, at two ohms, okay. Give me a second here, guys. Loading up the SMD. Real-time power. All right. Real-time power. And... Exactly 2 ohms at 133 watts. Oh, 2.8 ohms at 131 watts. 130 watts. Okay. Speaker. So why don't we try something a little bit different? Try something a little bit different here. We're gonna switch up here. Different ohms. Now you guys can see what the box rise is there.
dB test here, see what we got for decibels. So guys, give me one second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna hook up the other speaker and then we're gonna go switch them up.